Hello everybody and welcome back to Holiday Bible Club for week two. Now for anyone who maybe wasn't here last week or for anyone who's just forgotten, this year we have to do Holiday Bible Club a little bit differently from usual. And so each week we're going to be bringing you a video with some prayer, a story and some fun craft to do. And our theme this year is Toy Story and we're following the story of Forky. So let's get started with our story for this week. Hello, welcome back for day number two of our Holiday Bible Club, Forky's Great Escape. Yesterday, if you were with us, we learned the exciting story of a boy called David who no one expected to be able to kill the giant Goliath, but God had big plans for him. And we also learned about Forky, who no one expected to be Bonnie's favourite toy, because that's all he's made out of rubbish. But Bonnie had big plans for Forky too, and we learned how God has big plans for you. It doesn't matter if we don't think that we have anything special to offer, or even if nobody else has told us that we have anything special to offer. God says you are his masterpiece, and he has a big plan for your life. To learn about a second character from Toy Story who helped Forky on his journey. I think you might know who he is. He has a catchphrase that goes a little bit like this. To infinity and beyond! Do you know who that is? Have a think. Let's see. Is it Mr. Potato Head? Or is it Woody the Cowboy? Or is it Buzz Lightyear? That's right, it's Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. So Buzz's catchphrase is to infinity and beyond. But tonight's Bible story is about a man who would have followed God to infinity and beyond because he trusted him with his whole life. Let's listen to his story now. This is the story of Noah and the Ark. All of the people on the earth had become very evil. They did awful things to each other. And this made God's heart very sad. He wished that he had never created them. But God did find one good man. His name was Noah. He did what was right and he lived his life for God. God told Noah that he was going to send a flood and so Noah should build an ark. He told Noah exactly how he should build it. Noah followed God's instructions and built the ark. The people thought he was crazy, building a big boat in the middle of dry land. But Noah trusted God and knew that he had a plan. As the rain began, Noah and his family entered the ark. God had told Noah to bring two of every sort of animal into the ark with them, along with lots of food for everyone to eat. And so this is what Noah did. The rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon the whole world was covered in water. Eventually the water began to disappear. And Noah, his family and all the animals were able to come out of the ark onto dry land. They said thank you to God for saving them from the flood. God put a rainbow in the sky and said that this was a sign of his promise to never flood the earth again. The people must have thought that Noah was crazy building a massive boat when there wasn't even a sign of any rain. But Noah trusted that God's plan for him was the best plan. And he trusted what God said more than what anyone else said. He trusted God to infinity and beyond. Forky also had to learn to trust what Bonnie said to him. And God wants us to trust him to infinity and beyond. He wants us to trust that his plan for our life is the best plan. And that the things that he says about us in the Bible, they are true. So just some of the things that God says about you are that he created you, that he made you for a special purpose that you are his masterpiece, that he loves you and you are so important to him. And he will forgive you and make you a part of his family if you ask Jesus into your life. I hope that today 
Like Noah, you will trust God to infinity and beyond. Thank you for listening. Hello again. Now, I don't know what the weather's been like at your house, but in my house it's been raining a lot today. And this afternoon when I looked out in the garden, there was a big bright rainbow. And we heard in our story that God first created the rainbow as a promise to Noah, because Noah put all his trust in God. Just as Buzz Lightyear said, Noah trusted God to infinity and beyond. Just like Forky had to trust Bonnie. And we have to trust God too. We have to trust what he tells us in the Bible. He tells us that he loves us and he made us and each of us has a special purpose, just like Forky. Now, I hope you haven't forgotten the prayer drill because that's what it's time for now. So, right arm up, left arm up, right arm across, left arm across, heads bowed and eyes closed. Father God, we thank you for the story of Noah. We thank you that Noah trusted you and believed in you. We thank you for the rainbow and we pray that when we see it, we would be reminded of you. Help us to put our trust in you, just like Noah. And we pray that we would remember that each of us are special to you. Amen. Last week, at the end, we had a memory verse. And our memory verse was in a song with Mr Potato Head. And that's coming up next. So I want to see how much of it each of you can remember. Now you, you, you are the body of Christ. Now you, you, you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is a part of him. And each one of you is a part of him. Yeah, you are the body of Christ. Now you, you, you are the body of Christ. Hello everyone, are you ready to do some craft? Faye's going to make our craft for us today. And we have the forkies that we made last week ready to help as well. This week our story was to infinity and beyond, all about Noah's Ark. And we have two Noah's Arks that we've already made. They're rocking boats. They're really easy to make and Faye's going to show you how to get started. What you need are scissors and glue, some felt tips and a paper plate. Doesn't matter what colour it is, as long as it's plain on one side. And then finally, some ordinary card, even a cereal box will do. If you want to make it with us, get all that stuff together and then come back. The first thing we do is get our paper plate and fold it in half. This is one of the hardest bits of the craft. Make sure you fold it really well along the seam and then stand it up and see if it rocks. Perfect. Now it's time to draw and colour in the arc and the waves. Let's get our blue felt tip. Now let's draw the boot. So here's the boat. One of our boats we coloured in brown for the wood, but the other one we thought we would colour in multicoloured all the rainbow colours. So you can decorate it however you want. Away you go, Faye. Now let's see if we can make the animals and the little boathouse to go on top of the ark. Now we're ready to make the boathouse to sit on top of the ark, that's the little green bit, and we're ready to make the animals as well. So let's get some card. We're gonna use green card for the boathouse. You can use any color you want. Fold it over, 
so that the fold is at the top and then draw your boat house. And then we cut it out. Wonderful, and now let's put a little window on the top. That's great. Now to the animals. Let's take another bit of card and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold it over. Because we want two of any animal, what we're going to do is draw one and then we can just cut it out double. So let's start off with, oh, I think maybe a bear. Great, and how about maybe a lion and a giraffe? Now let's cut them out. That's great. Now let's colour them in. So now we're ready to put the arc together. First of all, take the giraffes or if you've any taller animals and stick them onto your house. Let's put the boat house onto the ark. We've got six animals in total, but you could make lots and lots. Now, what does your arc look like? Let's see you next week. Thank you for watching.